triangle movie opens with Jess comforting her autistic son Tommy, who is suffering from a nightmare. She's dressed up and prepping to go someplace. She cleans paint off the floor, messes her dress up. She hears a doorbell, and no one is there. She packs a bag, hops into her car, and drives out to the harbor. The group of people who go sailing is, Jess, Victor, Downey and Sally, Greg, Heather. I'm going to separate them into groups to help understand what in the blazes is going on. I will number them group 3. Jess 3, Victor 3, Downey 3, Sally 3, and Greg 3. Okay, sure, Heather 3. They go sailing and get hit by a storm. Greg 3 receives a distress signal from a woman in panic. He loses the signal, the boat upturns, and they are stranded. Heather 3 gets flushed into the ocean and leaves the plot after that. There is a reason why I'm starting with number 3, and we'll get to that in some time. On the upturned boat, Group 3 sits helplessly waiting for someone to come rescue them. And out comes a massive liner to their rescue. They see someone on the deck, and they board the ship. On the liner, there seems to be nobody, and the group starts searching for anyone on board. Jess 3 feels like she is having a deja vu and that she already been on this liner. Jess 3 finds her own keys lying around, but no one knows how it got there. They suspect Heather is already on the ship. Unable to find anyone on board, everyone meets in the dining area. Jess 3 sees someone running away and informs the group. Victor 3 runs after this unknown person. Greg 3 and Jess 3 go around further looking for someone from the ship. They ask Downey 3 and Sally 3 to wait in the dining area. Greg 3 and Jess 3 find a room with Go to Theater written on a mirror in blood. Jess 3 freaks out about the blood and wants off the liner, but Greg 3 intends to head to the theater, and they separate. Jess 3 goes to the dining area and no one is there, Victor 3 comes all bloodied. Victor 3 attacks Jess 3, but in the process, Jess 3 locates a wound to the back of Victor 3 single quote s head and aggravates it, and kills him. Jess 3 hears a gunshot, she follows it to the theater. Greg 3 is lying dead. Downey 3 and Sally 3 are blaming Jess 3 for this. Greg 3, before he dies, tells them that Jess shot him. From above, a masked person shoots both Downey 3 and Sally 3 and kills them. Jess 3 escapes and is chased by the masked person. Jess 3 overpowers the masked person who mumbles something before falling off the liner. Jess 3 is the lone survivor. She then hears a group shouting from overboard. Jess 3 sees her entire group waving from an upturned boat, even herself. Jess 3 is the someone Group 4 now witnesses on the liner. Which also means Group 3 saw Jess 2 as the someone on the ship. I will now refer to this as Group 4. Jess 3 runs around in disbelief following Group 4. In the process, Jess 3 drops her keys. Jess 4 picks up the keys saying it was hers. Jess 3 gets spotted by Jess 4 and makes a run for it. Now, Jess 4 informs Group 4 about the someone running away. Victor 4 runs after Jess 3. Jess 3. Victor 4 catches up to Jess 3. Jess 3 tries to explain what has just happened. Obviously, Victor 4 doesn't understand and thinks she is crazy. By mistake, Jess 3 pushes Victor 4 back onto a sharp protrusion impaling him on the head. Jess 3 freaks out and runs for it. She finds a room with shotguns and notes on the floor, saying, Kill everyone who boards. The letters are all written by previous versions of Jess. Jess 3 single quote S locket gets pulled off her neck only to fall onto a bunch of replicas, lockets that belong to the earlier versions of Jess. She picks up a gun and heads to save the people from Group 4. First, Jess 3 intercepts Jess 4 and Victor 4 single quote S meeting. This helps stop Jess 4 from aggravating Victor 4 single quote S wound and killing him. Jess 3 doesn't kill Jess 4, Jess 4 runs away. 
Jess 3 runs to the theater and saves Downey 4 and Sally 4. Greg 4 is dead, however. The Jethra shoots the masked shooter on top and causes a flesh wound on the head. Downey 4, Sally 4, and Jess 3 make a run for it, but Jess 3 momentarily separates from the two of them. At this time they reveal that the masked shooter with the flesh wound is Jess, this is Jess 2. Who is Jess 1 then? Jess 1 is the masked attacker who guns down Downey 3 and Sally 3. Notice that Jess 1 does not have a flesh wound on her head and never takes the mask off. Jess 3 makes Jess 1 fall off the liner. So in this tale of loops, at any given time, there would 3 Jess. Jess 2 tricks Downey 4 and Sally 4 to follow her into the room with the bloody mirror. Jess 2 kills Downey 4 with a knife and fatally wounds Sally 4, and she makes a run for it. Jess 3 spots Sally 4 and runs behind her to help. Sally 4 finds a control room and tries to send out a distress signal. This signal is the same as what Greg 3 is shown to receive at the start of the Triangle movie. Sally 4 single quote S signal is now being received by Greg 5, off screen, who has not yet hit the storm. Sally 4 runs to the upper levels to a location that has a whole bunch of dead Sallys. Just like the many lockets and notes, many Salis have already died. After this, Jess 3 sees Jess 2 being hacked to death by Jess 4. Recap. Jess 2 is the shooter with a flesh wound to the head, and Jess 4 is the one who Jess 3 spares while trying to save Victor 4. The fight between Jess 2 and Jess 4 is different from the fight between Jess 1 and Jess 3. This is the nature of the loops. The even Jess behaves in one way and odd Jess in another. Sally 4 dies from bleeding, Jess 3 and Jess 4 are alive, watching a new group of themselves come to the liner. This is Group 5. Group 5 sees Jess 4 as the someone on board. Jess 3 realizes that this is going to keep happening until everyone, including herself, is killed and no one enters the liner. She is desperate to go back to her son. Jess 3 now goes ahead and cleans up all the bodies. These are all the actions Jess 1 would have done. Jess 3 removes Downey 4 single quote S body and writes go to theater with his blood on the mirror. Jess 3 sees Jess 4 wounding Victor 5 to the head. The conversation that Victor 5 and Jess 4 have is also very different from the conversation Victor 4 has with Jess 3. Again. The events of the even Jess differ from the odd Jess. Jess 3 goes to the dining hall and tells Downey 5 and Sally 5 to go to the theater. Jess 3 gets a gun, puts on a mask, and follows Greg 5 into the theater and shoots him. Greg 5 recognizes that the shooter is Jess. Down below, we can see Downey 5 and Sally 5 blaming Jess 5 for the death of Greg 5. Jess 3 shoots and kills Downey 5 and Sally 5. Jess 5 escapes, and Jess 3 chases. The same fight ensues between Jess 3 and Jess 5. Jess 5 gets the upper hand, Jess 3 mumbles kill everyone and falls off the liner. The story continues following Jess 3, who falls off the liner alive. She gets washed onto the shore and heads back home. From outside, she sees the events of the morning in her house. This means that she has returned at an earlier point in time. Jess 3 sees her morning self shout and abuse her son. Tommy sees Jess 3 outside the window and causes the paint to spill. The morning Jess yells at Tommy and starts cleaning up the color and soils her dress. Jess 3 rings the doorbell and hides. Morning Jess hears the doorbell, but no one is there. Jess 3 sneaks up behind Morning Jess and bludgeons her with a hammer. Tommy sees this. Jess 3 holds Tommy and tells him that he just had a nightmare. She puts the dead Jess into a bag and packs it with other clothes. She loads the car and drives off. On the way, she hits a seagull. She stops to dispose of the dead seagull and notices a whole bunch of dead seagulls. This only means that other Jets have been around doing the same actions. The nightmare loop is still progressing. The seagulls are shown to somehow be connected to the liner. Hence, 
Like everything on the ship, they keep accumulating. Jess 3 gets back in the car and starts driving. Distracted by Tommy, she hits a truck, and the car tumbles. This kills Tommy. The body of the dead morning Jess is lying out. However, Jess 3 is uninjured and standing around watching the accident. A taxi guy offers a ride, and she heads to the harbor. When she enters the harbor, she meets a Victor, a Greg, a Downey, a Sally, and a Heather. They are just preparing for the sale. The loop has started all over, and they head out.